Hi, in this video, we will review some basic programming skills needed in the numerical methods in engineering. In this course, students should focus to use computer as a tool to obtain the numerical solution to a given engineering problem. As an engineer, we should be able to use the available software or write the computer program by using the following software. So MATLAB is one of the common software that we are using. And in this course, we are using the Octave because it's a free of charge and it can be function like MATLAB. Before we start, you can download the software according to number 1 to number 4. We will find the Octave software here. Java is prerequisite software for the Octave. Well, the Python is needed to be installed if you want to use the symbolic toolbox. It's recommend to install the software from 1 to 4. From time to time, Octave software is update free of charge and you can download the software in this website. So from this website, you can choose your PC operating system, for example Windows. And under here, I choose the 64-bit version. And the software that you can download from the Spectrum, we are using the first one. It was downloaded in 2018, so you probably can have a latest version now in this website. If your computer don't have Java software, you might find some installation error here. You can always find the Java software from this website or just use the one that I upload in the spectrum. If everything goes smooth, you should be able to obtain this final uh, completing the GNU Octave Setup layout. After you finish the installation, you should obtain the Octave icon as above. The first one is the command script and the second one is the GUI. So normally we will use the GUI to access the Octave. So this is the layout for the Octave. Octave is installed in, in the following directory. And when you press the window, you can tick the layout you want to show. This is the command window where we type our algorithm. For example, if we type pkg list, this is the command to check the package already installed in the Octave. Here is the command history, where just now you type the pkg list, it should be appear here, so you can check all the history. This is called the workspace, it's used to store the variable, where you can check all the variables stored here. So for example, if you let x equal to 5, you will see your X variable here. This is the file browser where you can access Octave file here. This is the variable editor. Normally we don't use this, so you can update. So for example, just now we say you can type the algorithm here. So if you let X equal to 5, where you can see the variable is stored up here, X, and the story is given here. Right, so these are all the history that we have. So if you continue, okay, you have another variable y, x plus y is equal to your a. Right, so if you don't want this variable editor, so you can just go to window and then remove it. Just now we have shown you the command window, you can move to the editor to check it. For example, click the editor here, then you will get this. So you can type your command here, x equal to 5, y equal to jack, uh, 9, and then y is your jack, z is equal to x plus 6, uh, 5, multiply y let's say so if you want to run this and tell what is the result for z you press the button here okay it will ask you to save the file so you can save it 
a major file and you can locate let's say you want to locate in your desktop so the browser will change save it okay change the directory and it will go to the desktop so once you run it okay you get your answer for z which is 50 so if you want to change the value for example then you calculate you press this button you get your new z so you can type this symbol to indicate this is the description for this algorithm. So what happened here is when you press the run and actually in the command window here, you will see that it will repeat the summation. Okay, let's say you run again with other value. Run. So in the command window, you see that uh, you compute the new summation so this is the script that we are use, usually uh, deal with so you can also save the file here so file save file as okay you can save it in anywhere you like so the file format that you save is in .n format from the office forge you can download the symbolic package from this website the package or what we call the toolbox can be downloaded through this procedure so first of all in the file browser okay point it to the software they just um, that you just download for example this is the software the toolbox symbolic toolbox that you have just downloaded so just copy the link and paste it to the file browser and you can get the toolbox here then use these two commands to install so in the command window type the pkg list then if you see there is a symbolic toolbox Okay, indi indicate that the installation is success. So how to use this? So now we can assume our symbol. Let's say we want to use the symbol for hash. It's so that the symbolic function is installed but not yet loaded. So you have to be careful. So after you load, then you check okay so the star here indicate you success to load the symbolic toolbox okay we let the j and k to be the symbol so let's say we have j plus 5 plus 5 k So let's say we have this to be equal to P. So the P is in variable format. P equal to J plus 5K. If you want to differentiate it, P with respect to the J. Right? So if you differentiate DP over DJ, you should get equal to 1 here this gives you 0 so you get the answer in 1 or if you differentiate p okay dot with respect to the k what should you get so dp over dk should give you 5 so you can also do the integration integrate p with k so this is the answer jk plus 5k squared divided by 2 so symbolic function is very useful please master this we have prepared step by step support sheet for you to master the command needed in the office so for example the basic command 
So these are the things. For example, like the mathematic operations such as addition, subtract, multiplication, division, and so on. So you have to practice all the commands in page 11 to 49 and submit the end file in zip format to the spectrum. So basically this is the first active learning. So for example, here you have the addition 5 plus 6, the answer is 11. In the end file, you can write your name, matrix number, and add the command for addition. So display is the function when you press run later, the result will show 5 plus 6 and the answer will be so equal to 11 here. So you can continue with other command, learn how to implement the algorithm. And if you found any precaution, for example, the inverse sign for the 0 0.5 is not equal to reciprocal. For example, this A sign 0 0.5 is not equal to 1 over sign 0 0.5. So write down the precaution if you find any that will be useful for you. You can just copy and paste the command and see the effect and understand how does it go. So in the end, you have learned the elementary math operation and this is the end file that you should submit. So after you finish the active learning, you should be able to master all of these skills. After you have done, please uh, zip all the M file like this and then put it as active learning one with your matrix number. Then you can submit this file to the spectrum. That's all for this week. Thank you.